Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this video, I'm going to show you what kind of options you have for the mobile menu of your Squarespace website. We're going to take a look at the header layout that you'll see on mobile devices, and then how to change up the alignment and the spacing between those links on the mobile menu available in your Squarespace site. Now this is specific for version 7.1, and if you're ready, let's hop into my demo site and check out all these settings together. Alrighty, here we are in my demo site. I'm going to hop into edit mode, which you can do from literally any page because we're going to edit the site header to take a look at our mobile options. If I select edit site header and click on this phone icon here, that's going to take us to the mobile options for our actual header layouts and the menu itself. Okay, so one last time here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to our main view here. I'll select done. What we've done is click on edit mode and then select an edit site header, and I'll click on the phone right here, and this will take us to all of the mobile options. Now here we have header layout. This will be at the top of every page of your website, and this is where you change the alignment for the logo or site title, like I have, as well as the cart icon, if you have that enabled, and where the icon to access your menu is. Now I generally keep the icon on the right-hand side because that's been pretty standard online for a while, but you can change that if you want to. If you select a layout like this, for example, that'll place the mobile menu icon and then the cart icon over on the left hand side. This has mobile left, cart icon right, cart icon left, mobile menu right. You get the idea here. Click on any one of these header layouts to change up the look of how the header will be displayed on every single page on your site, okay? Cool. Now next up, we have the overlay menu. I'm going to click into this and it will open the mobile menu on my site. Now here we can adjust things like the alignment, putting all the links to the left. If my computer will do its job, there we go. <laughs> all the links in the center and all on the right. Notice my social media icons are changing too. Pretty cool, right? Now for the link spacing, this says 3.8 view width. That's what VW stands for. You can just use this little slider to make them closer together or further apart, totally up to you. And then underneath that, we have colors. Clicking into colors, you can assign a color theme. Now the colors inside this color theme will be changed in your site styles menu, and we will dig into that, don't worry. So let's say we select bright one, you'll notice everything is being updated to completely different colors. This is what I have assigned inside my color menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. That was under the colors option, which is under the overlay menu option. Okay, so overlay menu, colors, and then you can select a color theme. No matter which color theme you select, we can change around the background color and the link color and do even more with some custom CSS. And we'll get into that as soon as we're done with the mobile menu options in this menu right here there we go the last option i wanted to share with you was the menu icon right now i have it set to the standard three bars you can just do two three three with a slightly different alignment there or a plus sign that's how you change the menu icon now before we dig into this any further i do have a few tutorials linked in the description beneath this video you can actually replace that mobile menu icon with your own image or the text menu if you'd like to try that instead check out the links in the description below for that separate tutorial because it requires a little bit of custom code and i didn't want to include it in the overview of just the standard settings available now let's hop into our color menu so we can check out how to assign the different colors to our mobile menu inside squarespace so back in my demo site, I'm gonna click on this icon so we can see what our mobile menu looks like. I'm going to actually hop into edit mode and then click on this paintbrush icon to access my site styles menu. Clicking into colors, we had assigned the lightest one color theme to this menu. So I'm gonna click the edit button for lightest one. This will allow me to change the menu overlay. That's what we're working on right now. So if I want the background color to be a different color from my color palette, like the light gray, for example, I can select that option and we'll be updated. We can also change the link colors. Let's say we actually want these to be a dark gray instead, or maybe make the link colors a solid white on a black background. There we go. We can adjust all of those separately. We can also change the button background, this right here, creating a custom color if we wanna just pick one that's available here, or hopping into our color palette and going with the color we've already used on our site. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna change this button text as well. There we go. Now we've completely changed the mobile menu and assigned it a different background color, link color, button background, and button text color. There are a few other things about this mobile menu that I want to change. Here's the example of the mobile menu we're working on right now. And what I want to do is I want to change the size of that button. I want to assign a custom font and I want to change the color of the social media icons. 
all three of those are not standard settings in Squarespace, so we're actually gonna use a little bit of custom code to make this magic happen. I'm gonna go ahead and hop back into my demo site, but all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description beneath this video, along with links to a few other tutorials about customizing this mobile menu, like adding a custom background image, if that's your style. Let's hop back into my demo site and start by changing up the font size on that button. We have our menu open in my demo site here, and I'm gonna to navigate to design, and then scroll down to custom CSS. This is where I'm gonna paste the code that's listed in the description below for changing the font size of that button. I'm just gonna paste this code right here, and I'll walk you through what it means. What we've said right here is when the header menu is open, so when this mobile menu is enabled, take that mobile menu button and make the font size 16px and give it a little bit of margin on the bottom. When I remove the margin from the bottom, you'll notice it scoots down to the bottom of the phone screen. I didn't quite like that, so I added five REM to the bottom. You can change that five and maybe make it, uh, I don't know, how about 20 PX? Change that to whatever value you're comfortable with. Now the font size I set to 16. There we go. I wanted to change that part, so you can also adjust this to maybe uh, two REM if you want it to be pretty big. You can adjust it to, uh, let's say, 20 PX. There we go, a little bit smaller. Definitely play around with that font size until it looks just perfect for your own button. One of the other things I wanted to teach you how to do was how to assign a custom font to the links inside this menu. We can do that using a very similar code. I'm just gonna enter a new line and paste the code here. This says header menu open A, font family, serif. Uh, serif is the name of just the base font family that I signed here because it's different than the font that I used. And you'll notice it's changed my site title, all of the links, as well as the button. This basically says when the header menu is open, take any active links and make them a serif font. You'll notice if we go back to our desktop preview, all of the fonts go back to the way that they were. This code isolates things so it's just when the menu is open. Now the very last thing I wanted to share, I'm gonna scroll down on my mobile preview here where I've got all of the codes, is how to create a custom color for the mobile menu icon. Now scrolling back up here, these social media icons will be the same color as all of the links that are listed on your site. That's the Squarespace default, but if you wanna overwrite that, you totally can with a little bit of custom code. Back in my CSS window here, I'm gonna enter a new line and I'm gonna tell the browser when the actual mobile menu is open, make the icons this teal color instead. You can use a hex color code or maybe change it to red if you want to, or if you want the icons to be pink, you can just say the word pink and you're good to go. But I'll go ahead and close this menu and we'll hop into our desktop preview. The icons over here are still exactly the same as they were before. Again, this only changes when the mobile menu is open. So back into our mobile preview and I'll click that there. Now we have a different color for these icons. Whatever you decide to change with code, just make sure you select save and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, all three of the codes I just shared with you for changing the button size and style, for changing the font family, and for changing the color of those social media icons are listed in the description below, along with links to other related tutorial videos. I have some fun ones for mobile specifics, like changing up the background of this menu to replace it with an image, or just changing the font of the site title. There are all kinds of fun things you can do with custom CSS. In fact, that's what I post about every single Tuesday right here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can check out the latest and greatest tutorials I have to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.